until the COVID-19 vaccine is available, I will not allow the traditional face-to-face -face teaching or learning unless the risk of exposure to the sickness and are eliminated. I cannot and will not put to rest the health and lives of our students and teachers. Young, about two weeks ago, I, 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 I seem to have said that uh, uh, I would allow the face-to-face -face, uh, classes to resume. But we were talking actually of January. Because my thinking is that uh, by September, we would have the vaccine. How to get it from the producers or from other governments is really something which uh, we have to deal with because everyone, the, 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 it's, it's a global need and everyone will go for it. But uh, let me just uh, mention it in passing that uh, about four days ago, I made a plea to President Xi Jinping that if they have the vaccine, can they allow us to be one of the first or if it's needed, if you have to buy it, that we will be granted credit so that we can normalize as fast as possible. Life that is lost is, li is lost forever. Courses that are not substantial can be supplemented. Education that is delayed can be recovered. We must implement online learning, modular learning, and TV and radio-based broadcasts, which students coming from different backgrounds can avail. TEPED will provide the printed modules for those who cannot afford online learning. In support of the learning continuity program, through blended learning, we plan to increase the number of schools with ICT equipment in the coming months. The DepEd and the DITC are building up the public education network or PEN that will connect all public schools and DepEd offices nationwide. We will prioritize the connection of all last mile schools and those who, with no electricity supply can have it via satellite and energized via solar panels. By 2022, before I step down, the pen shall be realized.